WhiteCataractCoach.com. White Cataract Horizontal Chop. A great technique to remove this nucleus through a relatively small rexus. Now the amazing part here is our guest surgeon is a resident who's only done 115 cases. This is number 115. And this is a very common type of cataract for this young resident's training program. Now you can see there's the proper technique of poking in, like Juan Baye taught us, through the limbus with the needle for needle decompression. So without making a para there, poking in just with the needle itself. Very nicely done there. Now, time for cataract surgery. Now you decompress that nucleus. Let's see what the main incision looks like. Now we sped the video up, don't worry about that. Two times normal speed, we've also edited the video, but we wanna just get through it. That's a pretty good incision, I'll take that. Let's see the rexus. Now, in a case like this, the surgeon's gonna be on the, error on the side of being very cautious, gonna do a relatively small rexus. So there you go. N nucleus has been decompressed, the bag's decompressed. So the nucleus itself is not pushing forwards on the back side of the anterior lens cap, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can see he's getting a nice rexus done. I would prefer a little bit of a bigger rexus here because a small rexus like this, which is probably four and a half, going to make it a little bit tougher with a very dense cataract. But if you do a lot of phaco chop, you're going to do great, and you'll be able to get this whole thing out. Now, rotating it, there it goes, rotating very nicely. Yeah, that rexus may even be in the horizontal dimension there, maybe even four millimeters wide. So it's a little bit of a small rexus. That can pose a challenge here. If I was doing this case, I'd actually stop and enlarge the rexus prior to continuing. Now, cleaning up some of the anterior cortical material here. That looks pretty good. And now, let's see the technique. Now, interestingly, look to the right of the phaco tip. What is that? Is that the capsulorexis fragment that we tore off? So, horizontal chop here. Oh, you got an attending squirt in the eye, too. The resident is doing a fantastic job. Look at that crack. Chopping that nucleus, getting it split. Now, the very dense cataract like this and fibrous one, you sometimes don't get full propagation of the separation or the cracks. That's okay. Take your time there. Just do chop, chop, and more chop. But the challenge here with the small rex is you got to operate in a most tiny, confined space. And with a very dense nucleus like this, it can be a little tougher. Now, what is going on with that capsule? What is there to the right? What's that to the right of the probe? No. Okay. Buzzing in, getting the pieces out. Is it just some reflection off a of kind of whitish or silverish looking cortex? So, all right, taking that out. That looks pretty good. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. You know how to do it. Especially if I get a video that I can just shorten by speeding it up. Now, ooh, look at the capsule now. Now something's going on. See, I thought there was something happening here. Now what? Did we nail the Rexus edge here? Uh, trying to figure out what's going on. It just looks like the capsule doesn't look totally, totally normal to me here. The chopper going around. All right, more chopping. Maybe it was just that fragment from there. What's that thing? That. All right, maybe not. Chop the piece of I Now nah, I'm riveted. I got to just like watch this. I'm right, chopping it up. I'm just impressed. Again, at 115 cases, I was not this good. Let me tell you, absolutely. So you are doing a fantastic job. Very proud of you. Chopper going around. Chopping it up. Okay, okay. I like that. I'm just kind of wondering what exactly is happening with the capsule. Maybe it's all intact and it's just like the, the view that we get because of the nature of that cataract. Getting all these pieces down. You know what? The rexus looks pretty good. It's still that small rex. There's a little bit of cortex in the bag. Let's get this last couple fragments out. You know what? Maybe it's okay. Now, you put a comment below. I got to know from what do, you do, what do you people think? My fellow surgeons around the world, what do you think? So the rexus is intact here. So what was all that blue stuff we saw floating around? Was it the central capsule that we took off? Hmm, not sure. Now, cleaning up the cortex here. Rest of the case should be pretty straightforward. I just don't really know. That's so interesting to me. Let's watch the end. Now I have to see through the end of the case. Hey, by the way, check out cataractcoach.com or teaching website. If you're a resident, if you are a resident, there's a free cataract coach book. Free. Just go to the website and get it. Also, that 25-part curriculum series. Now, let's go back to this case here. Clean up the rest of that cortex. And, I mean, the back looks pretty good, right? I mean, a little bit of the glove in the way there. Okay, get the hand out of the way. Good job. 
Hmm. Sub incisionally, what do you think? What do you think, team? They look, they look it's pretty good. Now fill the bag up. Okay, now your guess. What size is the Rexus? Because the lens is going to go in. You know it's going to probably be a 6mm optic. There goes the lens. I'd prefer a little more magnification here. And getting that in there, and let's compare the Rexus size to the optic, going behind the optic even. Again, I like a little more magnification for this last step here. This is critical. Yeah, that's a bit of a small Rexus here. Right, the overall optic, way, way out the edge of the optic is 6 millimeter diameter. So that Rexus is probably 4.5 in one dimension and 4 in the other, which made the surgery pretty challenging. So anyway, I want to comment below. What do you think that was that I was seeing there? Was it the capsule remnant and that's okay? Or was it just some weird stained cortex? Or the lens was funny? Or am I getting old and senile? I'm seeing things. All right, nice case here again. Thanks for sharing it. Check out our weekly podcast. Every week, a brand new podcast. So much great material. You will love it.